guys, Christian here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty exciting video today since we're gonna finally put some wheels onto the E90 uh, tires as well. It's well needed for all the power the car is making. The only thing is that I went pretty aggressive and it might not fit. It might rub, uh, fingers crossed. And check it out. These are actually the tires and the wheels right here. Uh, they were mounted a few weeks ago, but we were waiting on a few parts before we start testing them on the car itself. Uh, but before I show you guys exactly what they look like, I do want to address one thing. Get ready for your anal exam, Steven. Not me. Hold your breath and uh, <laughs> bend over. <laughs> so on Instagram, you guys are always asking me about the E46 M3 wheels on the E90. It wasn't something like I had planned. It wasn't really a choice, but more so wheels that I had sitting around. I didn't really have any other stock wheels to use since I uh, sold the previous 19 inch wheels that the car came with. So uh, we made the E46 M3 wheels actually work. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires on there actually did pretty well. I think PSI right now on those tires are like 18. So we were able to put some power down on the dyno and on the road. You know, I've kind of got used to them. I think they look pretty good. Ali, Ali doesn't really think they look any good, but I think they look yeah you see he thinks they look pretty bad i i've gotten used to them i like the setup um it's just not aggressive enough they're not wide enough the tires are only 255 in the rear so i definitely have to upgrade and i get it a lot of you guys liked the e46 m3 fitment and a lot of you guys really didn't but that was just a temporary thing i got better wheels a better tire setup i just been waiting on a lot of stuff because the suspension on this car right now is pretty wacky and you guys are about to see what i mean you got something against E46 M3 wheels? Yeah, they're trash. Why? Because they are. They look like shit. That's disrespectful. Oh, well, look at it. Concave and like flat ass face up front. Oh, that's why you don't like them. So they're super aggressive in the back and in the front, they're like a flat profile. Staggered, bruh. Plus it's only 255. Who, who wants that? Hey, I was able to hook some of fourth gear with that. Some. <laughs> More boost. Mm. Is that VTEC or Vanos? It's got the shoot tune. Yes, so here's the wheels. Okay. No, bye. <laughs> That's not me. Sorry, Mike. I know if you're watching this, they're hot and all, but not for the E90. Oh. Hold right on. Oh, nice wheel. Yeah. There you go. So this is probably going to be like the most unenthusiastic, most least suspenseful reveal ever. Sounds like me. Here's what they look like. All right guys, so these are the wheels. Um, they're from a company called Titan 7. If you guys watch my E46 M3 video, I'm also rocking Titan 7 wheels on there as well. I really, really do like the brand. They have some really, really nice designs for the wheels. Uh, they're fully forged. Uh, a lot of the times they have pre-made sizes for essentially every performance BMW. So it makes it very easy to choose exactly what size you're gonna get. Strangely enough, this exact fitment that I decided to roll with uh, is for the E46 M3. These are uh, a square setup, nine and a half all the way around, plus 22 offset all the way around. So they're pretty aggressive. Um, you guys can see, you can tell what the front tires are. 245, 40, 18. The lip does protrude just a little bit on the wheel. So there is a slight, slight stretch. Um, and then if you look at the rear wheel, which one of them is right here, is 275, 35. Uh, there's no protrude of the lip right here. So there's gonna be a slightly different look. I probably could have got away with a 265 all the way around, but I really wanted to put, to, put as much rubber as I could um, in the rear tires so I can at least put down some of the 700 horsepower on lower gears as far as the tire choice I needed something that was super sticky something that can really put power down um, And I decided to go with a very popular option, which I've never used before, but I'm very excited to try out These are Toyo R888s um, By far one of the best. Uh, well, I can't really say tr street tires. These are supposed to be track only tires But a lot of enthusiasts tend to rock these on the street. Um very very soft compound and a very very nice design i think what i really like about these tires it's almost like something that's you know it's a pro and a con right they're super meaty looking like just look how thick the sidewall is they kind of protrude just a bit out so it gives it that very aggressive look the only problem is that 
essentially this is going to make it more difficult to to clear the fenders on the car because of that design but you got to admit they look really freaking good i mean look at the design this is is pretty nice not really expecting to get a lot of thread life out of these because they're so soft here in florida is super hot all year round uh, but who cares i'm not really daily driving the e90 anyways um i do i did read somewhere that these make a lot of a lot of noise while you drive but my car is already straight piped it has a single turbo that's not to be an issue i did end up ordering center caps for the wheels i'm one of those guys that i absolutely love center caps plus it does cover up the the rusty kind of like hub um from the car so um i did order that Typically, if you have a race car, you're taking a car to the track, you're doing any kind of competition use, then you're probably not going to rock the center caps. But this is a street car, so uh, center caps it is. So here are some other parts that I was waiting for the car uh, before I do a, an update on the DR700 kit and actually try to pull some power down and get you guys some performance numbers and stuff like that and some pulls on the street. Uh, this right here is a big boy diff right here lsd not even from a bmw car guys this is from a ford car then right here we have what the seems legit garage guys call the unbreakable axles with lifetime warranty so uh i don't have to worry about busting an axle if i am going to do some launches on this car might bust the transmission while i'm at it but the axles are right here it kind of threw me off when i seen the box g-force because i was thinking isn't that a company that makes graphics cards for pcs and then i have i ordered a big brake kit for the 335i uh, F80 M3 uh, calipers. Um, I did receive some F30 performance rotors, which I'm not going to be using since I ordered uh, the F80 rotors, which are slightly bigger and they're drilled as well. Uh, we got the brake pads here, and uh, and then we have the one piece drive shaft right here. So yeah, drive shaft, big brake kit, differential, axles, and uh, I did buy some cowl stuff too, the cowl system for the engine bay, the M3 one, so it can really make the engine bay look much prettier than what it is right now. So uh, stay, stay tuned for all of that, guys, and make sure to subscribe. Got Mr. Jess right here raising up the height to accommodate the new wheels. Um, Jess. <laughs> for those of you guys that always ask what kind of coal lovers I have in a the car, they're ST coal lovers, but they won't be on the car very long. Uh, these are not in very good condition. They're definitely clapped out in the back. <laughs> About to show them right now hold on so take a closer look guys st shocks springs coilover system right yeah nice let's go take a look at the passenger side <laughs> it's, it's an oem sports suspension shock yeah so uh yeah i need a new suspension which should be arriving here very very soon for the purposes of just trying to get this fitment correct i, I couldn't wait any longer so i wanted to at least try it out and see uh see if we get them to fit so the real reason why we ended up having to install an OEM shock on this side is because we were trying to adjust the height back here and like the main nut that holds this in place, like the actual like stud, it just broke off. It was extremely rusty. I think this car lived in New Jersey for about four years and it was extremely rusty. That's the thing with ST coilovers. They don't have a special coating like the KWs, right? They're very similar. Um, so these are very prone to like just going bad over time especially in snowy climates so normally this wheel fitment wouldn't be an issue on pre-lci's like yours mm -hmm. because you have a little bit more room back here i don't know if you guys knew but the lci version here has eight millimeters less room in here because of the track um so even with the fenders pulled and rolled we're probably not going to be able to fit it correctly but we need to try it out at least yes Ooh, forgot to tell you guys these are pretty light fully forged Come on, can you get it in the hole? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Your hands are awfully soft for a mechanic, dude. Yeah, because I use protection. What do you want it to be? A cardboard 2 by 4 I don't know. Those hands are not rough at all, bro. Yeah, well, I can fix the car, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Good. Okay. There you go. How do you like that torque spec? I get it right at 92 pound feet. Oh my god. It's been a hard uh, decision as far as which wheels to get. But I definitely wanted to get fully forged wheels, that's for sure. And I wanted to get the right correct uh, I wanted to get the correct fitment for the car. But of oh course, I went a little bit over the top. How's and I guess over the top. Well, because you know this is not gonna fit. Yeah, well. I'll make anything fit. Yeah. All you need is a phone book in between right here. All you need is negative four camber and it'll fit. I don't have negative camber. I don't like stand station though. So, see, this guy's a big baller. I'm over here with 
forged tech ESR <laughs> wheels, <laughs> which are not forged at all. It's okay. It's okay. No. I know what it is. It's full formed. It's a, it's like a it uses a, a a forged process, but it's not exactly that. No, mine is forged tech. Get it right. <laughs> So it's actually forged. Yeah. Forged technology, but not forged, really. Ooh. Uh-huh. What do you think? Nice wheel gap. Yeah. Mm. We should leave it like that so we can pull down some power. Yeah. It gets zero stability, though, but... Get the Vader Solution Drag Pack. They have, like, that. The struts that, like, travel like crazy. For the E90? Yeah. For 700 horsepower? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Manual? Yeah. Yeah? They have all of that. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, dog? So we haven't uh, we haven't lowered the car, but just so you guys can see how aggressive it is, here's the fender up there, and the thick thick wheels, right? Oh my God, these are not like the craziest looking wheels, um, I can tell you that, but they do the job. They're fully forged. They're pretty aggressive, and I think it's just gonna look very nice with the car. Anyways, gotta install the front wheels, and then we'll see exactly uh, how they fit and how they look. I'm just glad that I don't have to wear, uh, I don't have to rock a spacer up front anymore. I've been rocking a spacer for the 19s and for the E46 M3. Everything's bad in this car, guys. Brakes, suspension is bad. The tires were bad. Everything was bad. All the arms need to be replaced. I, I made a lot of power, but it wasn't a lot of safe power just because the car felt super scary when I, whenever I did pulls. Oh, 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 it is booty hole tight. Yeah, if you guys look at the fitment here, let me see if I can show you guys. Look at the strut and look at the tire. It's a, it's a booty hole tight back there. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, so I have some suspension that's coming in for the E90 and I remember them having thicker struts. Ooh. YOLO. Oh my God, what the hell? All right, we're keeping the bumper off. this. I, we're leaving this like this. <laughs> oh bro, what is that? Take off the head. It doesn't look like I, this, this is like a drag strip car. I won't be able to turn at all. Dude, that's crazy. I don't know how I feel about the lip protruding like farther than the tire. Not a big fan of that. I might just have to run 265s whenever it's time to change tires. Just so I don't have that lip. Damn. Damn, dog. I feel like it needs to settle just a bit. That is freaking aggressive, though. Uh, I think I'm definitely hitting the tire. Uh, I'm guessing that's the tire rubbing. Am I, am I widening the car yet? With yeah. The tire? You rode the fender just a bit. I'll tell you something, it definitely looks like a 700 horsepower car now with that setup. Looks pretty thick and meaty. Nah, I think you can get away with this. I can get away with this meat? Yeah. Like meaty? Time for a test drive. <laughs> About to screw up my tires on the first drive. Damn. Oh, you really raised it up pretty high up there. This is higher up front, but it's still got a rate forward. Thousand vibes. Oh, because the gate's closer? Yeah. Really? By the way, 
don't know if you guys watch his channel, Swap Depot, link down in the description below. He has a very similar tire, tire and wheel setup. Very similar. But he clears more than I do. 265. That's 265 all the way around, plus 25, right? Plus, plus 22. Plus 22 like mine? Yeah, plus 22 all around. Plus 22, 265, 35. But he did some serious modifications. One, shaved fenders. Yeah, he shaved the fenders. And the second of all, um, he has more room than I have back here. Unlike the, the LCI models. The crazy thing is that he was able to get away with 265 up front as well. Brother, you're doing some rubbing though. It's only when I hit a bump and it's inside. Yeah, so look at that fitment, guys. He actually has a video on this wheel setup. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. We got some straight up meatiness going on over here. Like Arby's meaty, you know? Arby's. Not sponsored by the way, but it's pretty meaty. Well, it was pretty obvious. Some work was still needed before this wheel and tire setup became practical for my E90. Our limitations at the moment were that we maxed out the height adjustment in the rear and the springs were a bit too soft for this setup. The small test drive ended up burning off some rubber from the sidewall, which it really did hurt me. That said, I'm confident we will get this fitment perfect once the new suspension system arrives. It won't be easy and it'll definitely take some patience, but it'll definitely be worth it. So we still gotta do a little bit more work to the car so it can fit properly. I like how it looks. It looks super aggressive. I would not recommend this fitment on an LCI. It's just, it's probably gonna take a lot of tweaking. Luckily I have these guys here that can help me out with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the E46 M3 wheels back on there until the suspension arrives. Um, we're actually about to start working on a big brake kit for this car. I don't have the brackets on me, which is why I didn't film it in this video. So make sure to subscribe. I'm putting F80 M3 brake calipers and rotors on the E90. Seriously, a differential, drive shaft, and unbreakable axles you guys do not want to miss it make sure to subscribe to the notification bell on make sure and like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time and just in case you guys were wondering what it looks like with the bumper on well the bumper is partially on but yeah here's the fitment so yeah that looks pretty good so it fills up the space underneath uh, the the fender well very 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 nicely actually